morning, good afternoon, good evening, my family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, let me make sure for my subs and make sure that if anybody's listening, I'm always reminded by Yanni to keep the volume levels up. I really appreciate that, you know, looking out for me like that and reminding me. Um, So, hopefully this is okay and you guys will be hearing it pretty good. Um, You know, I wanted to talk about today, um, in my opinion, there's like five basic uh, wounds from childhood, you know, it's like five that that really hurt us to the core as adults. Okay, if we're physically, sexually, or emotionally abused, not necessarily in that order, um, neglected, or have a parent that smothered you all the time just smothered you. Um, Those type of behaviors onto a child can really, really manifest itself negatively when the adult child uh, becomes ready and engaged in a relationship. Okay? Those are the five most negative things Uh, those are the basic wounds and out of these wounds come real real serious behaviors okay you know they bring usually when you're in that kind of situation you have a lot of negative core beliefs okay Um, you develop these through being um, taught as a child or hollered at as a child or made feel insecure as a child Maybe that you weren't good enough. Maybe that your parents were overcritical. You know, and I'm not saying this for you to, um, you know, just (laughs) hold them accountable. Like, you ruined my life. Because what this is, is an epidemic that happens systematically, basically, and is passed down from generation to generation to generation. And you will hear people say it, you know, well, my mama did it to me and I'm going to do it to, you know, it worked for me and, and, and we got the hell beat out of us and so I'm going to, see, and in my opinion, all of that stuff is so obsolete if you want to build a healthy human being, okay? It's amazing to me that we were once beaten as human beings and we hate that. We hate our history of being beat of being um, tortured, of being molested. We hated that and being exposed to that type of behavior. Yet and still, a lot of us perpetuate those kind of feelings onto our children every single day. Or we put our children in a situation where those things are being perpetuated against them. And we know it. And we're not doing a damn thing about it because we want that man or we want that woman. Um, And it's amazing to me um, how we are creating such wounded adults. So now what is happening is you have all these people running around this society that are disconnected, unloved. They have all types of personality disorders. We have all... And nobody's addressing it. Uh, Now, imagine not only is that a dynamic, but even on top of that craziness, you have some people within that matrix that even though they're experiencing the same type of abuse, they may think that they're better than another person because of the color of their skin or you know from where they were where they come from so 
all of this human disconnect, you want to find out that most people are going to be, either we only got two options at this point, once we become an adult, and once we have been fed all this negative core stuff, we have a, a parent that has neglected us going home and you keep a baby in a diaper so long that when you touch the diaper, pee runs out the diaper. Or flies are so much around the baby that they, when they take off the diaper, maggots are in it. These are extreme cases of abuse uh, and neglect. I've seen it. Trust me. Or little girls turning tricks at four and five years old and the mother being responsible for the trick coming to the house. I've seen it. I've dealt with it. Um, women who know that they have a husband or a boyfriend that is having sex with their child, they know it. And because they don't want to go back on welfare, which is what someone told me, I never, I'll never forget it, or because they're afraid what's going to happen to them if they let go of this piece of shit and they will sacrifice their child oh boy. with the sexual abuse. So now we got all these wounded type of people running around here. And if they're not imploding, in my opinion, which I think, um, I'll give you an example of what I see Tyrese doing right there on the camera. He's imploding right now. Um, and then either they implode or they explode on somebody. Shit. Either you're going to take it inward or you're going to take it outward. Um, or you could try to cover it up by uh, using sex, drugs, shopping, overeating, rock and roll, over, uh, spending, doing all kinds of porn, watching all kinds. Anything that can distract you away from the hurt and the pain and the emotional uneasiness that you feel in your soul. And if you don't deal with this, you want to pass it on. Your kids are going to be experiencing the same mental illness, emotional illness, um, physical, uh, um, just the physical reactions to what their childhood programming is. You know, when you start to look at this stuff, and you start looking at our society um, as a whole, and which is amazing to me that, I know this is going off track, but we're black, there's black extremist terrorists, but this government has not, this president has not used the word terrorist when it has referred to all these white men shooting up people and shooting up churches. I, I don't get it. I know that it is that type of narcissism and that type of hypocrisy is what's going to destroy America. A lot of people are insane enough to think that that shows that you're bold. It shows that you don't, you you know, I'm a, I I exude strength. That's who we are as Americans. Um, kind of like what Donald Trump is doing over there. <laughs> and with his speech of saying, um, you know, how brash and how bold we are. And to me, when you lose the ability to feel what another person is feeling on a real issue, on a real level, uh, then at some point, then you have to work, rework what has been taught to you as a child. When you're the kind of person that just want to get what you get so you can be satisfied, but you never see yourself that way. It's all about you. You suck up all the air in the room. It's what you think and your ability to compromise or, and reason is totally gone. And you can't never hold yourself accountable 
for your bad behavior. You can never take responsibility for your bad behavior. Um, You, to me, are just a walking billboard of one of these five wounds of childhood. And you can't help the kind of cars that you were dealt. Neither one of us. We can't help the kind of cars that we were dealt. You know, that who our parents were, what they gave to us. That, that is a total hostage situation. You didn't ask to be born. You cannot help it that you came to birth with to, to these people. However, it is like playing spades or being with or whatever. What y'all play. You've been dealt a hand of cards, and it's your job to play those cards. They might not be as good as your partner's hand, or they might not even be as good as the, 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 the your opponent's hand. But you got to play it. And um, play it to the best of your ability. Don't focus on nobody else around you, and don't focus on any of those things. Focus on your, you got to focus on your hand, and how you going to make this hand win. Right. So I suggest that's what you do in your life. Start taking control of your life in a real healthy way. Start taking control of your stinking thinking and start making sure that the thoughts that are inside your dome are the thoughts that you put there and not stuff that you regurgitated from your mama who may be regurgitating it from her mama and who may be regurgitating it from her mama who which was owned by a slave master. Okay, she might have been, you know, beat profusely. So those are things we have to think about. Those are the kind of things that we have to, um, I think, govern ourselves by. Okay? All right. Like what you hear. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, and I'll see you next time. Right here in the mental house. Bye-bye, family.